Okay, so in this video, I'm going to basically show and explain the... give the diagram of the radio I made in my last video. It's incredibly simple. All it is is it has an antenna, has a coil, a capacitor, a diode, a headset, and a ground. And the coil can be a few hundred, can be a hundred turns or more of enameled copper wire. And the capacitor could be made out of paper like the one I made in the last video, but it really should be variable so you can adjust stations. And uh, it can be a few picofarads all, it really should adjust from a few picofarads all the way up to a few hundred picofarads. And your coil should have a sweeper where you can connect to different points of the coil so you have another way to adjust it other than your capacitor. So how this circuit works is that um, AM uh, um, uh, I think it's amplitude modulation or uh, amplitude modulation or something like that. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure how AM works is that there's a carrier frequency and with AM it's usually a few kilohertz and how they transmit voice or music or whatever is that they the music or voice or something varies how strong that carrier wave is it affects, it either decreases or increases how strong that carrier wave is. And what this circuit does, this coil and this capacitor is that to tune into a station, each station has its own uh, carrier wave. So what this capacitor in this coil does is that it makes itself resonant so that its resonant frequency is that carrier wave of that radio station. So so it oscillates at that whatever frequency. And while this is going up and down the amplitude of that frequency, you can come off there and you can put and the style is so that DC flows into the headset instead of AC. And I don't know why that makes a difference, but it doesn't work without this diode. And you need a good antenna, and you need a good ground, like a radiator. You need an antenna that could be, I don't know, it should be at least a few feet of wire could be outside your window, could be a wire across your room, whatever. And the headset, if you want to listen to it without an amplifier, you could have a piezoelectric headset or a coil headset. They, I think a long time ago they had headsets that were 2,000 ohms or more. Those would work fine with this. But if you want to have a loudspeaker or something, you need to connect an amplifier right here. And I think the most important thing of this whole thing is this diode right here. Right here, this is a germanium diode or a carbonium diode or something, but I use that for this. And the reason you have to use that instead of a regular diode is that a regular diode um, will have a drop-off voltage of half a volt. So if you put one volt into a diode, you'll probably get half a volt about out. And with this circuit, it only produces half a volt to a volt. And you really can't afford to have that drop out, drop out voltage because then you'll have that just drop, that drop out voltage will take away all the voltage and you'll have nothing for your headset. So let's go over here. And I'll show you some stuff. Right here I have my coil. An alligator clip to check different taps. 
I have my capacitor, which is aluminum foil on this side of the paper, and there's aluminum foil on the other side of this paper. And here's an antenna. It goes outside the window. And I'm on the second story, so I tied a piece of a screw onto it, and I threw it up to the gutter up there, and I just let it fall down, so I had a big line of wire going down, and come in here and hook it up, and from the ground, I tapped into this natural abundant resource, and have a wire down there, and right here because I didn't want to use a um, um, piezoelectric thing because I could not, I literally could not hear what they were saying because it was so quiet. So I have an amplifier and a loudspeaker. And the crystal's all the way over there, so I don't want to walk over there to get it. So if you want to hear this thing running, which it does great, Watch my past video. I'm really, t I'm kind of tired, even though it's only 11 o'clock. Oh, it has to be 80 degrees up here. Good night.